Today's interview is with Scott Donnell. Scott is a serial entrepreneur who has dedicated his life to both physical and mental health. He's the founder of Apex Leadership Company. It's a fitness and fundraising program for schools. Apex has raised $75 million for schools and now has 15 franchises and 3 million customers. So pretty impressive track record there. But more recently, Scott has joined the biotech world and he is the CEO of a company called HAPB. That's H-A-P. B-E-E. So happy, what it does, it specializes in ultra low frequencies and with its patented technology, it can record small magnetic fields from chemical solutions. So with the use of a wearable device, which I'll be wearing in the episode, if you're watching on my YouTube channel, it's just youtube.com forward slash coach Tara Garrison. Um, if you want to see what it actually looks like, um, we're both wearing one. He has it around his neck. I'm wearing it on my head, which you can wear either way. Um, so you can create those feelings with the click of a button. It connects to an app on your phone. So you can choose alert, calm, relax, sleepy, focused to name a few. So he's going to get into like how exactly that works. Um, and also at the end, they have a discount code for you guys, which I'll also link in the show notes. So make sure you take advantage of that. If you want to try this new um, cutting edge technology in the biohacking space, it's really, really cool. Um, this whole episode is cool. Scott gets into also just kind of his own personal health journey um, that has happened since he started with Happy. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of cool insights on how we can optimize ourselves as human beings. So um, if you're that kind of person, if you're an optimization junkie, you're really going to like this episode. We'll go ahead and jump right in. Here is Scott Donnell. So I want to tell you guys about one of my favorite finds in the health industry in the last few years. It's something I use with all my clients, and that has been extremely impacting on me as well. And that's the upgraded formulas, hair mineral tests, their consults, and their nanoparticle size minerals. So um, I started on this path because I was taking in a high quality magnesium. And when I tested, I found out that I was extremely deficient in magnesium. And once I started using their nanoparticle size magnesium, my levels went right up. And what I experienced was incredible. I started getting more REM sleep. I was, I realized I hadn't been dreaming in years, started dreaming again, and also noticed that I didn't think I had anxiety until I got my magnesium back up and noticed that I was experiencing quite a lot of anxiety and that went away and I was able to enter back into a place of calm and peace. And, um, it was just incredible. And so since then I've been using it with all of my clients and it's so easy. All you have to do, they'll mail you out a little envelope and you just put some hair in it and mail it back into their lab. And then you do a consult with them over the phone and they'll tell you all about your ratios, what's high and what's low, because you can't know this unless you test, there's no way to know. And you can't just crap shoot minerals. You have to make sure that your ratios are on point. So they will tell you exactly what you need more of exactly what you need less of to get those ratios on point. So you can have optimized brain health and hormones and sleep and metabolism. So, um, they're also giving you 10% off for being an inside out health listener. So that code is just inside out. So, um, go to upgradedformulas.com and just enter inside out at checkout and you'll get 10% off their consults, um, the hair tests and any products that you may need to get your ratios, right? So, um, yeah, take advantage of it, guys. It's something I use with every single one of my clients. It's been wildly impacting, and I'm happy to be able to extend that discount on to you guys too, as a thank you for listening to the podcast. Hey guys, before we get into the episode, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about higher coaching. This is my coaching system and I get a lot of questions because, um, it's not just training and nutrition. We do that. I love training and nutrition, obviously, but we also do more. We do personal development and the way that's delivered is a 90 day personal development program that you go through with me when you work with me. So it's a video course with questions for you to deep dive in yourself for the first 90 days of working with me. Now that comes as part of a morning routine. I am really big on the morning routine and you ask any of my clients, I will push you on that because it's life changing. So we start with meditation and then we do gratitude and then that personal development program. Um, that's our deep dive psychologically. And after the 90 days, you go to the next level, you start doing what I'm doing currently. And it's a lot of strategic goal setting and it's really, really honestly, miraculous what's happening, not only in my life, but in my clients' lives. Like it brings me to tears when I get on calls with them. I'm like, do you see yourself? Like, do you see what you're doing? That is so cool. So anyway, that is um, for me, the bread and butter of my coaching. I love it so much. Um, also though, 
In, in regards to your body, I also like to go deep dive and see what might be holding you back. So that's where all the biohacking side comes in. We do a physiological deep dive as well. So we do blood testing, hair mineral testing, DNA testing, body composition, or a ring. Um, so your heart rate variability, your sleep cycles. Do you have any deficiencies? Do you have issues with sleep you didn't even know about? Let's find out, you know? Um, so that's, that's how I approach things in higher. There's more, we do prizes every month, Nikes, Lulu's, um, all my favorite products and foods to keep you motivated, to keep those habits up. We do three zoom calls a week. So you get support. We have a private Facebook group. We're all vibing and, and cheering each other along the way. We get raw and real and honest. And it's just, yeah, it's like, I created my life and I created my life the way I like and I like to deep dive with a bunch of bad A people that really want to optimize their lives and it's an honor for me to serve them in that. Um, so I just thought I would tell you about it because I don't know if I talk about it quite enough. So if you're looking for that, if you're like wanting the next level in your body and also in your life, truly, that's what we're doing. So. Uh, seeking bad A's <laughs> to join higher. I do have some spots open. Um, it is limited. I can only handle so many clients at a time, but if you would like to find out if it's a good fit for you, you can go to my website, taragarrison.com and you can request a call and we can see if, if it's a great fit for you. Um, and yeah, I, I just wanted to tell you guys about higher so you could get a little glimpse into what I'm doing on the daily. And if you're looking for something a little more self-guided, I do have my keto in and out program, um, on my website. Site. So you can either do a small taste and try it for eight weeks, or you can go a full year. That baby is comprehensive. There is a video of every recipe, video of every exercise. There's a 60 day course teaching you how to do keto or 30 days of keto. And then 30 days of bringing back the carbs, FAQ video library, Facebook group, like all of that. So if you're more of like the self guided person and you just want stuff planned for you, um, that is also an option on my website. It's taragarrison.com. I'll link it all in the show notes and all right, we'll go ahead and get into our episode. All right. So Scott, can you please describe for my audience that's watching? If you guys aren't watching on YouTube, I've, I've got like a, a, a crown, like I've got a beautiful crown, but the biohacking crown on my head, <laughs> you can come see what it looks like if you want to come over my YouTube channel, but can you explain to them why, what, what the biohacking crown is? I'm just kidding. That's not what it's called guys. It's called a happy. Can you explain a little yeah. bit about what the happy is? We, we, I'm turning into a tax collector with this, the forehead. It looks like you're dishing out. <laughs> yeah. Like my visor. <laughs> yes. Your little visors. Yes. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're like a stock bidder on wall street or something. Um, but actually, by the way, you can wear it. You're wearing it on your forehead. I'm wearing it under my shirt here. You can see the logo glowing. It's, it goes either way around your neck, around your forehead. It creates a, a basically a, um, like an egg shaped magnetic field. That's like about up 18 inches. So Anything in that field, anything in that halo is going to get the signals that we're giving to your body. Okay. So, that's good to know. 18 inches. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put on your forehead, you can put on your neck, doesn't matter. Um, okay. But basically uh, this is, I know it sounds like Star Trek, uh, but it, <laughs> we can give you um, sensations and feelings uh, to, to regulate mood and help with your body throughout the day um, coming from certain molecules. So we actually, in our labs in Seattle, we can, we can imitate and, and I'm sorry, emulate basically the effects of a couple cups of coffee. Okay. We can emulate the, uh, feeling of two shots at a bar. We can give you the, um, almost like a buzz that you'd get from like a cigar or something like a, like a focusing buzz. We can relax your muscles, um, with a muscle relaxant and help you go to sleep at night with a sleepy signal. And all these are, are very, very precise, uh, 24 million bits of information on these signals that come directly from these molecules. Um, and that's the science behind this, about 38 patents, $80 million into this technology. It's called ultra low frequency uh, technology. So- yeah, let's yeah. let's go there for a second because I it's you know in a world of everyone's like afraid of EMFs and any kind of wave at all, right? You know, um. So can you uh, explain your thoughts on that a little bit? Yeah. So, um, by the way, your brain throws off EMF, right? Yeah. Your heart has EMF. Your body is around seventy megahertz of um, movement. Like literally, you can if any electrocardiogram is going to show that your that's how our bodies communicate. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We communicate through frequency and sound right. and right. vibration. Like that's what EMF is. Now there's good and there's bad, right? Um, you know, I would say that what comes off your body, helping your body resonate and connect and feel certain things, that's good, good mm -hmm. tech, good EMF. Bad EMF is like, you know, what comes off of uh, power lines and gamma rays and microwaves and things like that. Cause that's basically just can potentially fry cells and things like that. So our technology is what is considered the good kind because all we're doing is um, changing shape of, of like protein receptors in your body at a very, very ultra low uh, level um, instead of people like ingesting substances or taking pills or chemicals or anything that has, you know, side effects or right. metabolic side effects or issues in your body. Um, so ours is actually really, really healthy for you um, versus some of these other types of like, by the way, your phone is our technology is 30,000 times less output. Okay. In terms of like signal and 30, you know, 30,000 times less than 30,000 <laughs> times less. Yeah. This phone, this 5G is like 500 um, megahertz uh, and it's pinging a thousand satellites, okay, throughout the day. Um, this thing is, you know, and the science is still out on what that's actually doing to your body, but I just, yeah. you know, put an EMF blocker on your phone, put one on your laptop, you know, I would not carry this around your pocket, right? Like you always, you don't want to have, you know, there's, there's studies on what this does if you have a phone to your head 10 hours yeah. a day on calls. I like to do um, speaker phone two feet away, right? Um, there's just a lot of little things that you can do um, just to kind of protect. It's almost like a insurance policy, right? Mm -hmm. There's good kinds, right? Direct stimulation, PEMF industry, which we're in that kind of helps with your body. It helps with balance and, and mood regulation and sensations. Um, and then there's kind of the other kind. So that's, those are the, that's the space that we're in. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I love what you're saying. A, a couple personally, I, I tend to be the type of person that I will not get afraid of something unless someone can really prove to me that I need yeah. to be afraid of it. Um, right. I don't, I think for me, it feels more toxic to live in fear of things that I don't even know if I need to be afraid of it than to, you know, like protect myself from everything because everything could be hurting me. So I, I'm a little bit, um, uh, I hope I'm going to like polarize some of my listeners because I know <laughs> some of them are very like anti EMF. Um, feel free to send me some uh, good information. If, if you think you've got something I should look into, but, um, for me, I haven't found anything that convincing. I have really dug into it because I've had several like EMF blocker companies want to work with me. And I'm like, well, hold on. Like, I'm not going to just, just cause it's cool and trendy to be right. anti EMF. Like I need to see how I really feel. And if you really dig into it, it is, it's kind of like, we don't know for sure. And, um, right. I also am a little hesitant. I, there's kind of some manipulative stuff that I came into, like, look at this tree that died next to this 5g tower. And I'm like, well, show me that every tree next to every 5g tower is dead. Right. I'm now I'm paying attention, but show me yeah. one isolated tree is dead. I don't know if it's because of the 5g tower. And so, um, I, I am definitely not somebody I'm, I'm more into like, let's advance humankind and let's see what can right. happen. And unless it's showing like really negative effects for me personally, I'm like, if almost ever, so everyone has a cell phone. So if we had like 90% of cell phone users had Brady cancer, I'd be like, dude, don't freaking use that thing, right. you know, right. but it's not that high. So anyway, yeah. for me personally, I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not going to be afraid of advancements unless I see there's a reason to, I think as a health coach, right. I see the, the human body as extremely freaking resilient and adaptable. And so sometimes I think we get so scared and that can like cause us to uh, almost cause more harm to ourselves just from living in fear. And then also like not be able to advance because yeah. we're like, no, that's not how it has been, you know? Right. So, anyway. Um, but that's very comforting what you're saying. It's like 30,000 times less. Yeah. We had this, I had a very, here's a really good kind of anecdote on this whole space. So there's a book out there. If you really want to dive into this, uh, Dr. Joe Mercola, who's a, a network friend of ours, uh, uh, he looked at our product. He just wrote a book called EMF. Okay. okay. As in like, yeah, oh, like, cool. like EMF, yeah. which is apostrophe D. E, we're like, we're F by EMF, yeah. right? Okay. Okay. Um, 
and 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 Dr. Mercola is world famous. Like he is, he's yeah. a big name. Yeah, I think most of my listeners are probably familiar. Yeah, and he did spark a huge debate on this, right? Like it was really uh-huh. like, okay, is this a big deal? Is this not a big deal? Um, and I I do consider it an insurance policy. Like it's, yeah. it never hurts to just be careful, right? I do have my organites on my nightstands, and <laughs> I'm go. like, why not? Who if it helps? Why me? not? Right? Why why take you know the unnecessary risk with higher level things? Obviously, we're you know the people who put our technology together. I'll get into the story in a second. It is crazy. Like the founder of the inventor of Cialis and about a dozen other PhDs got together. Some of the world's top docs basically saying. We know how the body communicates with itself, and we think we can basically hack the body to the highest level and skip these um, and, and allow people to really not have to take substances and, and chemicals and compounds and pills and injections and things that they use all the time to help with certain uh, physiological effects, to feel better, to be more balanced, for better sleep, whatever. Um, anyway, the, the technology is insane, but their first goal was do no harm, right? These guys are doctors. Like, first do no harm. And so everything they've built from the core, this is about 18 years in coming, this technology under wraps for the last, for the first 12 years. Okay. Um, everything they did was based on understanding the body at the, at the most cellular level. And this Dr. Mercola guy, Joe, he, he um, grabbed our device and he said, no issue with the device at all. In fact, the only thing, and he, and he, but he got really mad about our Bluetooth chip, which is an mm-hmm. off-the-shelf Bluetooth chip with, that is in almost everything, okay? I mean, it's the okay. most, like, world where these guys sell, like, half a billion chips a year. It's in all of, like, the Bose. It's in all of, like, the household, Amazon, you know, whatever, Alexa's, mm-hmm. everything. Um, and he just said, that's my problem because... Mm-hmm. You never know what that's going to do to you. Not your tech. Your tech is thousands of times less than that. But the, the, the Bluetooth that communicates with the app to play mm-hmm. all these feelings and signals to tell the device what to play, that's what I have a problem with, not the signals themselves. Right. And we were like, oh, come on. So, so we worked with his team and a few others, and we built an airplane mode. So now you can just turn your Bluetooth chip off that communicates with the app, and you, you click play, and you get up to four hours of whatever you want. Oh, you can really? put your phone in airplane mode. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Wow. So we are able to kind of skirt, the, you know, basically get yeah. around that obstacle. And it was just interesting that his, <laughs> we have this revolutionary tech with, you know, three dozen patents worldwide on it. And he's like, I don't care about that. The Bluetooth chip pisses me off though. <laughs> that's cool that you guys were willing to be like, okay, let's find a solution to that and listen to it and not be like, eh, it just doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. You know, that's, that's cool. That's a, um, high dedication to, you know, making a quality product that everyone can feel safe using yep. and still take advantage of the technology. Right. Um, also, I wanted to hit on this, this idea of chemicals and, and it's like, okay, if we're not going to admit that pretty much everyone is addicted to chemicals, then we're kidding ourselves, you know? Um, and that can be as simple as food. Like, um, yeah. we, I think most people probably don't even realize that how they're using food to feel better or, Yes, alcohol or caffeine right. or, um, you know, uh, painkillers sugar. or opiates sugar. or, right, sugar. Yeah. So, like, this is cool that, like, when you talk about, like, just barely nudging, changing the frequency of, like, a protein receptor just a little bit, like, it's, it's, it, that's interesting to me because now we're looking at almost like a mechanical, like a, like a, you know, a, a, a hug <laughs> versus, yeah. like, chemicals being, um, coursing through your body and causing this like huge cascade afterwards, you know? So that's pretty cool. I, that's like, just being real. I I don't cannabis. I think of it this way. I'm not a big, big fan of cannabis personally, but for people, if I'm like, if it's going to be alcohol or cannabis, I would way rather see people like vape a cannabis than like be drinking alcohol. They got calories. They've got the toxin effect. They got all these this like negative cascade and it's like if you're yeah. just speaking an altered state like oh man do the one that has the le- the least negative consequences from right. it but this one like there's no there's no negative consequences or at least that we know of right like yeah. it's not like there's a bunch of chemicals that your body has to deal with afterwards right. to get into that state so that's pretty cool yeah so this this is a big deal because we've you know 18 years of research from our parent company right um and they're in the medical space so they started this technology um, basically to help with people with brain cancer. 
Mm, and they've been wow. in FDA trials for over a decade for glioblastoma recurrent brain tumors. And what they were able to do with this technology is um, get a signal that comes from Taxol, which is a chemo drug, okay? Mm -hmm. And their idea was, if we could analyze and study and, and, and emulate the magnetic resonance of this Taxol drug, and we could put it on people's heads with the same field you're looking at here, but it's a medical looking device. I actually have it right here. So it actually looks like this. This is like what the parent company, the, the oh, wow. medical. So these go that on- That doesn't look as cool as my tax accountant advisor. Yeah, <laughs> that's biohacking right. queen. <laughs> that's right. So um, their goal was when they invented this technology was let's help people with brain tumors and let's see if we can, you know, slow the growth, stall the growth of these tumors, give them a longer, healthier life to these people. And when they first got, it took about four years to get the technology. They used magnetometers from the Navy. That's this magnetometer mm -hmm. technology. That's the world's most powerful frequency recording devices. Um, in fact, the Navy uses these magnetometers to like find out where the nuclear Russian subs are, which are like thousands of miles away, but this is the most precise readers on the planet. So they, they bought a few of these, they messed with them, did Faraday cages and all this patented work. And they were start, they could literally put a, a chemical in there and get a reading, like get a um, magnetic wake, like an electrostatic surface potential. And that is what we initially used to adapt and create these signals. And um, again, the, the guy who invented Cialis and this whole team of a dozen other PhDs and doctors put their heads together to, to figure this out. But basically they said the body is energy, okay? And the body, if you get inside of your, um, okay, so you've got your cells. Inside your cells, DNA. Inside your DNA is atoms. And all atoms are, are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Three energy, protons, neutrons, and electrons. That's all we're made up of, okay? Um, if you think about that, that is, that's just energy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All we are is made up of very, very simple energy. Oh, and sure. if you can almost like you said, like guide it a little bit differently, trigger it a little bit differently, right? Uh, you, then you're doing what somebody who's trying to self-medicate with alcohol right. is doing or, or cannabis or pills or too much coffee or lots of sugar. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, I don't, I don't drink, but I, you know, I have like five Cokes a day, Coca-Colas. It's like, okay, well, you're kind of killing yourself in another way with sugar. Right. Um, but I think a lot of people, they like, they like to be able to reach a different state at certain times, mm -hmm. a little bit of a mood alteration, something to pick them up, something to help them relax, something to sleep better. And if we can go right to the source, without any of the toxicological side effects, right? right. Like right. this chemo, we've had hundreds of people going through FDA trials in the parent company with brain tumors, recurrent mm. glioblastoma brain tumors, and the results okay. have been amazing. Really? Wow. Yes, amazing <laughs> results. Hundreds of people, zero um, serious adverse events. Um, in some of these cases, it's like the tumor stops growing and, and they're able to cut it off at the head. And these people are still alive eight, nine years into it. Okay. Um, and overall it's like a 40% increase in length of life is like what their overall studies are basically showing. Um, now they're going into pain. They're going into all these other medical claims at the parent company. All mm -hmm. we're doing is basic consumer signals for right, and right. feeling sleep better, more energy throughout the day to mimic a couple cups of coffee, more productivity. I'm on the focus signal right now. Right. Yeah. So I'm like nicotinian receptors are triggering and I'm like mm -hmm. firing on all cylinders. I'm on alert. I'm you. on alert. There you go. <laughs> We're so doing that's, all kinds of fire. <laughs> yeah. And then, or relaxation, right? We have the muscle relaxants. We have kind of the de-stress calm signal that everybody uses when they watch actually movies and shows. It's like a, yeah. So that's yeah, so the idea is make people feel good without the, the negative side effects. Yeah. So can you explain, um, we talked about this a little bit when I interviewed you on Instagram guys on my IGTV, we have an interview there, but um, you explain kind of how they, how they discovered, like, how do you know what, what frequency to pick for, uh, relaxation or focus? Can you, um, go into that a little bit? Yeah. So, um, it really is based on certain molecules of interest. Okay. So, um, we actually study things like the ingredients in coffee, um, two shots at a bar. Okay. 
like we look at these things, a muscle relaxant that you would take to just calm your body down, right? Or a sleep aid, okay? Those are just some of the examples we have in our actual signals that you can buy and use right now in the market. We've got 18 more in the labs that we're studying right now. Things related to diet, like hunger suppression, things related to blood flow and performance and memory with Jim Quick, who's one of our main partners and advisors. Dave Asprey is another main one. Joe mm -hmm. Polish, these, uh, a bunch of really, really cool folks mm -hmm. that are like, oh my gosh, this is a game changer, right? Mm -hmm. And so the idea is if you can um, impact the body in a specific way without the chemicals, it's right. a huge win, you huge. know? Yeah. So I like to use this example, right? And, and I have to say this before I, I do it. We don't make medical claims, okay? If we did, we'd have to go through FDA for three and a half to five years as our company, our parent company is doing all that right now. We mm -hmm. don't want to have to go through FDA and spend $50 million to get some designation because when we do that, I'm gonna, you're going to have to go to a doctor to get this for 10 grand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not the model we want to pursue. Right. This, is a couple, this is a couple hundred bucks. This is a general wellness product, just like a lot of the other direct stim out there in the industry. Mm -hmm but we think we can completely dominate this space, but we don't want to make these medical claims. But I always give this example, aspirin and ibuprofen, okay? Aspirin is a covalent bond. Ibuprofen is a non-covalent bond. Non-covalent bonds are what we think we can emulate in the body to a degree, okay? So like aspirin, when you take aspirin, it's a chemical bond to the receptor sites of your cells. It's This is back to like 10th grade chemistry and bio, okay? so. A chemical bond to the receptor sites of your cells, you physically have to have something there, like food, uh, vitamins, amino builders, and all that stuff, okay? However, and we can't do that, but the non-covalent bonds, this is where it gets interesting. All, the, all a, all a non-covalent bond is an, an exchange of electrons, which is a charge. That's a charge. Right. Um, what if you could emulate a non-covalent charge. So, and two thirds of all drugs, by the way, are non-covalent. Wow. So if you think about it, ibuprofen, if you, you know, take ibuprofen and it dissolves, it's not a chemical bond. It's not a covalent bond. It is a, like a remote control trigger that changes the shape of the protein receptors on your cells. Okay. Which blocks the pain res response to the brain, right. To a degree right. and helps with inflammation and things like that. Um, hormones, stimulants, suppressants, all these types of uh, compounds and molecules are non-covalent. That's where we think that our technology can help create signals for people that emulate those effects, not exact, but similar, um, and give them a better quality of life, right? More energy yeah. in the morning, productivity throughout the workday. I mean, I use alert and focus almost every single workday throughout the day. If I have a big meeting yeah. or a bunch of emails, or if I right. need to be on, right. um, I all I use the relax signal for my body after a workout. Um, I use the sleepy signal at night under my pillow, or if I'm on a flight, I always use it on flights because it's like knocks me out. Um, and then the happy signals, like a weekend, watch the game after work, kind of hang it, mimics a couple shots. You're a little flushed, giggly. Yeah. It's 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 awesome. So that's the idea. Is skip the the risks. You know, you mentioned alcohol earlier. Did you know that alcohol produces formaldehyde in your liver? Like that's what comes out of your liver. Okay. That is ridiculous. Okay. It's, it feels like it too. It feels like I don't drink very much. So I'm very aware. I'm like, I have been poisoned. I literally yes. feel like I have been poisoned through my entire body. I'm so sorry, body. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. <laughs> right. But, but think about that. I mean, people, why do people smoke? Right. There's like a, there's like a billion people who smoke, by the way, wow. around the world, a billion, like 808 something million people wow. still, even with all the data, yeah. they still smoke. Why do they smoke regardless of all of the warnings and all of the data that shows how deadly it is? Because how well, they feel. <laughs> they're trying to feel better. Mm -hmm. They're trying to, yes, it's nicotine is an addictive substance, but it, people are trying to get themselves to a calm state to a state where they can continue to function in their job, where they can focus more, you know, mm -hmm. triggering a, a nicotinian receptor is a good feeling on its own. It's actually, oh, yeah. it's actually mm -hmm. has a lot of the same benefits as caffeine. A lot of people don't realize that nicotine gets a bad rap because it's very, 
like linked to cigarettes, right? But it's not. If you remove just nicotine, I, it's I yeah. yeah, I've used it. I've, I've used it as like a pre-workout because it blocks acetylcholine receptors. So you're like That's right. super connected, coordinated and connected to your muscles. So it can really enhance the workout. I say that with uh full warning. I personally don't get addicted to nicotine. Like I've tried it. I like forget about it. I'm like, oh yeah, nicotine, that's cool. But I know some people that are super, super, super addicted yeah. to nicotine. And you're right. Yeah. It does, it's that focus, that like kind of feeling. But your your focus on this app is very it's a very, very similar feeling. Like you really nailed that. I, I yeah. experienced a similar shift. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's the best thing about our signal. So a lot of times when people get nicotine, it comes with carcinogens and toxins and right. smoke and lung cancer and all these nightmares. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the safety problems actually happen. But at the core, if you could click a button and just help yourself feel a certain right. sensation, we think of it as like engaging in life more, having a more balanced life rather right. than like escaping or becoming addicted to things. Like this isn't an addictive thing. There's nothing in your body. It's just the moment you turn it off, 15 minutes later, it dissipates. It's gone. You're back to base, right? Right, right. And so our, we have had so many people in, the, you know, from addicts, recovering addicts, counselors and psychologists working with people with trauma. Um, mm -hmm. We just did, we just um, launched two major military veteran partnerships. A lot of veterans use this for PTSD. Obviously, we can't claim that yeah. medically, mm -hmm. but people, you know, they use this for stress. They use this to help them regulate their moods. And that well, is a huge win for people. And people have been doing this forever and will continue to do it forever. People have sought altered states or ways to make themselves feel better, change, chemically change their state um, through all sorts of things, sex addictions, pornography, like, and there's all of these things you're talking about. They're all like, they, they defeat the person. The person leaves feeling like, Oh man, I'm such a loser. I just can't stop doing that thing. I know it's bad for me, but I just can't stop. Whereas this, they're getting the same experience, but it's like this empowered, like I'm the type of person who is like, so on top of my life that I choose my state and I have this cool device. It's like a completely different um, energy for the person the to right. be in, right? Because right. they don't, they know they're not doing anything bad to themselves, but they still get to feel better or feel yeah. different or choose how they want to feel in that moment. So yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool. Just even if you look at it on like a relationship with self kind of level and how you're choosing to yeah. like alter yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's so think of it this way, sleep, diet, exercise, meditation, spiritual practice, happy. Like we want to be like one of the tools in that mm -hmm. tool belt. We don't replace any of those things. We're a, we're a kind of what's considered like good tech. In fact, if you, did you ever see social dilemma? Yeah. By any chance on Netflix. Uh -huh. if, if anyone yeah. hasn't watched it, it's a fantastic read. It's on a, the addictive nature of apps and what's mm -hmm. going on in social media and the problem it's causing for humanity, actually. Um, but one of the people that was in that movie, his name is uh, Dr. BJ Fogg. He's the head of behavior, um, the Behavior Institute, Behavior Change Institute at Stanford. Mm -hmm. He's become a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, he was just on our, our podcast cool. and he considers happy the good tech because- mm -hmm. With our technology, it is exactly the opposite of being addicted to a screen and scrolling for a dopamine hit. Right, right. We, we, for us, our actual goal with our app is be on the app for like five seconds. Like what's the shortest amount of time you can actually right. use the app just to click play. Right. You know, and then you're not actually hearing anything. It's inaudible. It's just a biophysical change happening in your body over the next several minutes. And you can do it for just a few minutes, people use it. Dave Asper used it for 30 seconds. That's all he needs. And he's like ready for bed or he's like ready for the meeting. It's mm. crazy. Other, mm. other people like myself, maybe it's an hour or two. Some people use this up to 12 hours a day, right? And there's wow. zero you know, negative side effects. So it's so helpful for them. They're like, why would I not do this? Because if I don't do this, I might be wanting to do something else that's not good for me, right? So right. the more you could get people thinking that way, the better. Yeah. And, and BJ Fogg was in The Social Dilemma. He goes, I love what you're doing because he was the one who like coached those other companies. He didn't know what they were going to create, but they went to Stanford. They studied under him. He was trying to teach people how to, you know, <laughs> he's he was like, trying, I created a monster. <laughs> yeah. He says that he's like, look, he's, this is not the point of what I teach. What he teaches yeah. is just like how to create good habits. Right. He's got the number one book on Amazon that, um, I, I have the book in my office here. 
um, Tiny Habits is the name of the book. Okay. Um, I, I can grab it here in a second, but it's an amazing book on how to change your behavior, prompts and motivations and um, your ability to do something. Like all you gotta Love do it. is move those levers, you know, and put the prompt in the right space and you can change any habit in your life. It's a fantastic book, but he didn't realize like people were going to go through his Stanford class and then right. go create some ma- mega billion dollar addictive app. Right. Wow. So, he, so to get his stamp of like kind of the good tech approval to me yeah. was a big deal. Because yeah, definitely. We, we want people to engage in life and not be addicted to a, an app and be addicted yeah. to scrolling. Like I, I think we can have a huge opportunity to benefit society by having this as hopefully a new category, a new way for people to feel good without the substance. Yeah. And I'll link that in the show notes, guys, that, that book, I I'm definitely going to snag it after this. I love that kind of thing. And it, it made me think of like NLP, for example, like neuro linguistic programming. Like some people are like, Ooh, you want to learn NLP? Are you like a bad person? You want to like take advantage of people? Like it's, it's almost gotten that rap um, because people can, you can use a tool different ways, you know? I was like, no, I want to help people like get to the root of their problems and be able to actually change and like right. be a better coach, you know? So yeah, like, um, that is, that is really cool that, um, he was able to give it that seal of approval because he obviously understands like what it actually takes to make changes at a really deep level. And I'm the same way. Like, um, wh- what I've noticed about happy is that it's not like, it's not like, you know, you, you took a drug and now you're like almost out of control of your normal self. And you're just like, right. you know, it's not that intense. It's just, it was almost like at first it was almost imperceptible to me, but I was like, well, I did work for like three hours straight when I got on focus. So maybe <laughs> that did actually help, <laughs> you know, and it took me a minute to be like, oh no, yeah, it is helping. Cause at first I just wasn't really sure. Cause it kind of yeah. sneaky like that, you know? Yeah. It's not like, it's not like a, um, it's not like an electric chair shock. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like people right. think, well, like, you know, I put it on and 10 seconds later, like, is it here? Is it, am I getting it? No. Cause it takes time. Like, okay. So let's say you have, um, a, a drink with your friends at a happy hour. Like it's not like 10 seconds later. I mean, right. it's going to take <laughs> 10 minutes. Right. So with our signals, it's the same thing. It's like a subtle triggering, you know, it's building yeah. pathways and helping with your receptors and, and it just takes a few minutes. Some people are really sensitive. So it's like, like right now, I've done it so many times, I can feel it in like one, two minutes. Right. Yeah. Once right? you're aware. Once you're feeling. aware, you got to build those pathways though. Like you're, right. that's why we tell people like, hey, 10 day training, like your first 10 days with the product, we want you just to use it every day for yeah. a half an hour at least. Okay. And then if you can try like 30 minutes of alert and then 30 minutes of sleepy and then back. Mm. Like that will help someone start to yeah. see the polarity of these signals. And then once you start to recognize them, they're there forever. Like you're good. Yeah. And our sticky factor, once someone gets it, like our app, we see, like we have 500 people use this thing, like just in the last little bit. Okay. Yeah. Like we see like people really, really enjoy this because it's making their lives healthier. Yeah. But that's biohacking, right? Like that, yeah. you know, biohacking is sort of a niche word and people don't really know really what it means. And, and now I think it's becoming more of a functional medicine term. Like I really see it as like functional, holistic medicine and, yeah. and fitness Sure. Um, the goal of that is bang for the buck. Okay. Right. What is the healthiest, biggest change I can make to my exactly. body or my mind or my environment? Right. Um, for the least. Sorry, cut out for a second. Oh, no. um, sorry about sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. You're saying, so, um, th- what's the most amount of change I can make for the least amount of like negative yeah, consequence? time. Yeah. Time, money, effort, um, potential side effects, right? Like, right. Like it's all about finding what's the best bang for the buck and where, and where does all these things rate supplements and right. different types of hacking exercises or using a happy or a power dot or an aura ring or I have a constant glucose monitor shot into my arm or, yeah, you know, nice. I, I just, my whoop is charging right now, but I use whoop for recovery right. to figure out my HRV and my activity scores compared mm-hmm. competing with my friends. And mm-hmm. all these things are sort of in this functional medicine wellness space that I think is sort of this new age of fitness coming in new age of mental health, new age of, of physical health. And I think people are going to, over the next 10 years, we're going to see a huge shift to more of a personalized approach to fitness and medicine. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, by the way, 
if you're if you're at if you're happy is too close to your microphone, it, it has feedback. Oh. Are you hearing feedback? Yeah, you might want to turn it off. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how you know it's working. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Okay. Thanks. Um, yeah, no, that's exactly how I feel with biohacking. Like I it's sometimes I feel like people can almost like, it's like turning your power away, um, outside of yourself to all these devices and gimmicks, but I don't see it that way. I see them as really useful tools to turn me inside of myself and to learn more about myself. You know, the, the aura ring doesn't control me. I'm just using it as feedback for what are right. my patterns in life? What's actually happening instead of just guessing, um, huge fan of biohacking. We use a lot in my coaching. And it's, you know, it's like, you can hear on a podcast that, um, glutathione is great. Okay. Well, do you really need glutathione? I don't know. Let's look at your blood labs and your, and your DNA and all, and all these indicators that we can now look at inside of you. Um, I specialize in the ketogenic diet. I love keto. Do you need to go keto? I don't know. Let's take a look at some of these metabolic markers inside of you and in your blood sugar management. And so they're really useful tools that way. And this one is cool because it helps you become more aware of your state, yes. right? So you're like, uh, I always say like, you never know you can feel better until you do, right? Everybody always yeah. thinks that the way they feel is the maximum. Like that's the best that's going to be available to me. Yeah. And then you make some subtle changes and you start living this whole different level. And you're like, oh my gosh, I was not okay. That was not okay. How yeah. I was, you know, this, um, this just happened to me. Did, so did I mention the hundred day challenge I'm in the middle of right now? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. So if you go to happy.com, H A P B E E.com slash hundred days, you're going to see, mm. I've been going through this crazy, uh, hundred day challenge. I think I'm on like day 63 or something nice. where I'm totally hacking everything in my life, body, mm. mind, environment, I'm all my, I'm taking like 15 pills a day. Well, it, the reason I'm doing this is because in October our happy went public. Like we just hit the hundred million dollar mark. It's been insane. Only two years of this. And we're like nuts. Okay. It's nuts. Um, and I basically hit a wall, like my brain mm. broke. And mm-hmm. I didn't realize what was going on. I like, couldn't focus or see straight. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm having a stroke or mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, I'm mid thirties. Why the heck am I like feeling like mm-hmm. an 80 year old? Well, there was so much stress. Like there's just so right. much stress going on and, you know, and COVID and a million other things, but my body just couldn't take it anymore. And so I went in and to a um, holistic uh, doctor, Dr. Rebecca Miller here in town, who's a friend in Genius Network. And she said, okay, let's just do the full workup. 1500 bucks and let's just do everything and let's film it just so we can teach people. Cause I was going to, I was thinking about doing this program anyway, to hundred days to educate people. Yeah. And she said, let's just film the whole thing. And mm-hmm. so we, f- we did a blood workup, a uh, stool sample and urine sample. And then I've got my DNA results coming in cool. this week um, as Very from good. DNA company, Mansoor Muhammad, we're going to interview him. Nice. Um, but basically we found out just by doing that, that I had like a dozen life-threatening issues going on. I had a parasite that was like eating my gut and my brain. I had celiac, I have celiac disease and I had no idea. So I've been gluten and dairy free for the last two months and I feel a million times better. I had um, my top 12 families of gut bacteria were like absent, okay? Because of all this sloughing off of my lining of all these dietary issues. I have a third of the villi in my intestines to absorb nutrients because of like all this stuff. I couldn't produce butyric acid, which is the main thing that helps calm your nervous system down, the GABA nervous system. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that actually calms it down. And I couldn't even produce the damn thing. Oh, wow. And I just, the list goes on. I had no vitamin B5, Uh no B12, no vitamin A, no vitamin D, no manganese, no zinc no wow. trace minerals whatsoever. I mean, the list just goes on. My hormone was shot. My DHEA was shot. Wow. And for, so for $1,500, I literally yeah. woke up a week later as after started taking this, a couple of supplements, they put me on mm-hmm. antibiotics right away. Mm-hmm. I already within one week felt a million dollars. Yeah. Better. Yeah. I know. And this, this is, thank you for sharing that. Cause so in my coaching, we do DNA, blood, hair, mineral analysis, um, HRV, all of these deep dive things, continuous glucose monitors, yep. um, because 
you, you don't, you can actually find out now. You, and and yes. it's, it's simple as like, I can give somebody, I see that they have a genetic predisposition predispos- to be, um, you know, they have the MTHFR, they're not yep. getting fully out of their food. They have predispositions for high CRP, high, high inflammation. Also, you know, low B12, you get them on some very simple, inexpensive supplements. And yeah. like, I've had people call me in the middle of the day and be like, oh my gosh, I like, I like, I, I can't believe I've been living like that for so long, you know, and it's such a simple thing. And that you're exactly right. Thank you for sharing your story. Cause that is the beauty of biohacking in my opinion yeah. of all of these new things and not being afraid. You know, sometimes people are like, well, I don't want to know And I'm like, please, please don't be, a, I don't want to know person because yeah. you're just, you're self-protecting, but you're not, you're actually like self-abusing, you know, find right. out what's going on so you can feel better. So yeah. yeah. That's, and and that's I, awesome. I would even go a step further in this and say that the physical body is, is, is like half of it, right? The mental side. Yep, yeah, like absolutely. We, like, I, cause I really think of us, my my vision for this company is right, right now we're building a bed form factor that's gonna go right on top of your bed. That's gonna give mm. you these feelings all throughout the night. So you don't have to wear this or put it on your pillow. Oh, wow. We're looking at yoga mats and things for like a work oh, chair cool. and cool. ski helmets and like all these really cool things cool. to put the tech inside of. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a hub and spoke model and almost like Apple really, I mean, Think about it, a thousand songs in your pocket was how Apple exploded. Mm, mm. But this is a thousand feelings around your neck, okay? Yeah. And now it's not gonna be in your pocket around your neck. There's gonna be a lot of ways to experience our technology, but mm. the ultimate goal of happy is to be at the center of this mental wellness movement. Mm. It is, ex- mm. every year it's growing by like 20% CAGR, like huge explosion in the mental wellness space because I think people are starting to realize that your brain dictates your body and your mental state and your stress level actually has a physical oh, yeah. effect on yep. your cells, on your mitochondria, on your T cells, yep. Yep. on all these things in your hormones, right? Yep. Yep. On, it actually oh, affects sure. your ability to absorb nutrients for yep. God's sakes. Yep. So don't think that those two things are separate, right? I know you know this, but I'm saying to the audience, mm-hmm. you need to think of these things as aligned. And for us, yeah. we're seeing that happy is helping people be healthier all around, you know? Yep. And so I think, you know, one of the things I just did in this hundred days was I went to Dave Asprey's 40 years of Zen program. Mm-hmm. So I spent a week there and I did like these resets and trauma work and, you know, mm-hmm. nodes on my head, tracking my mm-hmm. alpha waves and theta and gamma and delta and beta waves. And we did meditation work. We were in sensory deprivation tanks. We did breathing exercises, just all this stuff for like yeah. trauma and yeah. helping us honestly forgive and feel love for yeah. the first time. Yeah. Um, and it was unbelievable. They they told me the first day because I'm a I'm a high I'm what they call like a high functioning entrepreneur, right? I've got many companies, 500 yeah. employees across the yeah. companies. I solve problems all day, every day. But what that does to your brain waves is it gets you stuck in this fight or flight survival yeah, mode for sure. Where I'm like I'm like always on edge. Like, what's the next fire I have to put out? Like, what's mm-hmm. the next mm-hmm. employee that's gonna go crazy? What's the next? Yeah, I can only imagine 500. Holy smokes! <laughs> that's the last time I checked, and that's across wow. three three companies, including Happy and other. Like, it's just my life, and so I I never realized what that stress did to my body and my mind, right? And so most of the week was working on actually calming down my brain. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and feeling these alpha waves, right? And forgiving people and, and moving into love as I think about things in my life. Like I, was, I had the inability to feel what's called an alpha wave. You can actually track it with these nodes that are on your head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The alpha wave is directly linked to creativity, joy, yeah. peace, love, unconditional love. Um, and I wasn't able to even fire the alpha wave. Mm, okay. Yeah. Here I am, and I can- crazy. It's just crazy. I, I can relate. Um, cause you know, you have those alpha waves when you first wake up, you're kind of in that, in that zone. And so I always meditate first thing and you're right. It's a different brain state than I experience at any time. And it's where all my creativity comes from. Yeah. It's where all the magic happens. It's where all the vision for what I'm doing in my life happens. It's, and yeah, if you're not able to achieve that, you are going to just be like this hamster on a wheel. That's just like chronically going. And in addition, I'm like, oh my gosh, give yourself a break. Cause you had all that gut stuff going on. Like you literally couldn't produce GABA, which is like the brakes on your brain. So right. you're just glut- glutamate converts into GABA and glutamate is our excitatory neurotransmitter. So you were just like, like a million miles an hour. Yeah. Um, and it's, you're right. It's a combo. It's kind of chicken and egg ish. It's like, is the, um, the actual chemical physical, you know, issues in your gut 
causing all the brain stuff or is it, you know, stuff that hasn't been healed trauma yeah. causing your gut to get in that state in the first place. I mean, minus the parasites, but right. you know, from right. stress chemicals chronically run racing through your body, but either way, like you get being able to experience healing, um, both physically and mentally, like you can't only have one, right. Cause right. you'll just, you'll keep going back into the same pattern. So that's right. I, I mean, what you're describing is like my life. So the other side of my coaching is personal development and healing work. And that's yeah. why, you know, you have somebody who, uh, for example, like maybe they were somewhat abused as a kid by their parents in regards to food. Well, I can give them meal plans and biohacking tools right. and all of that, all I want. But the fact that they're punishing themselves now, they've become their own abuser or something like that, you know, yeah. like, um, it's like, wow, until we heal that, how are you ever going to get better? So totally. thank you for sharing that message. And, and in regards to happy, um, being able to sometimes use something to get you into that state. Um, I, you know, I think we talked about this last time, I'm a huge fan of plant medicines and psychedelic work. And the reason being being is because using a tool that helps you get into a space that you can now process, heal, love, forgive, have empathy, you take that with you after. And so happy is kind of like, um, you guys are creating that space on a, on a, you know, daily level. I'm not going to do a plant medicine journey on a Tuesday, you know, right. but, um, like that's a, it's creating space for you to be able to process emotions or be in the space that's going to bring more to your life on a daily level. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's that's, that was so good to talk through because it, I think so much of the, this, you know, coaching space, fitness space, functional medicine, uh, the wellness space needs to mold brain and body. Yeah. Um, I, I, I honestly, I think that that's kind of the problem between Western Eastern medicine. Like everybody in Western right. medicine is like, give me the pill, give me the prescription. Right. And I don't forget the brain, like forget the energy and the forget soul. the brain, forget the yeah. soul. Yeah. And that's why people are on four pills to counteract the side effects of four other pills. Okay. Right. And then the Eastern side almost rejects the Western side as like, right. you're new age, we've been doing this for 10,000 years. And all you got to do is like a kumbaya and you're fine. It's like, okay, hold on. It's like, are they fine though? Cause yeah. they kind of seem don't, they're like, they're not. Sometimes fine, so. you yeah. need a doctor to fix yeah. yeah. Right. So right. My hope is like, how can we bring these two things together? Because there is so much more technology today. There's so much more science behind so much more of these uh, revolutionary um, health technologies, yeah. like, like, like tracking, right. Mm -hmm. Aura and whoop and, and constant glucose, like those track you. Um, but also in this, the stimulation world, like the direct stim world, which we're in, mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. actually affect the body positively. Right. Right. And people can take so much more control mm -hmm. of their body and their mind than they, than they think. I, yeah. I, I think one of the, the worst ways to think is like, oh, well, my doctor will fix me if I ever feel bad. Yeah. Because a lot of times when you feel bad, you, it's too late, right? Like, yeah, you should go get help. And ho hopefully there's like a pill for that or something. But sometimes people don't realize it until they're too far until they have the heart attack, until they have like so right. much like dementia. Wait till it's broken. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, or they're overweight to the fact where they're diabetic now, or they, right. you know, something happens to where, man, I wish I would have. And I think, I really do think the next decade of mm -hmm. functional wellness is going to be about people being able to control and track their own their own state, their own body, yeah. their own brain without having to go pay a bunch of stuff or have insurance topple or, you know, I was one of the most memorable comments from my meeting with Dr. Rebecca Miller about my blood and stool and urine. She just said a passing comment and she said, you just paid $1,500 to save yourself yeah. unlimited amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars later on in life. You just right. saved yourself and the system, by the way, she's like, you just saved the system probably a million dollars down the line True. trying to keep you alive. Yeah. And she said, do you know how much hmm. cancer treatment is? Chemo, the, the um, average expense of someone doing one month of chemo right now is $150,000, okay? Wow. An average round of chemo, six to seven months, is a million dollars on the system, right? But the insurance and the medical system and this bloated system is paying just to keep someone to go through that. And that's just chemo. I mean, that's like kind of middle of the road. There's a lot of other treatments that are intense that are so much more money. Think about the trillions of dollars that we would save 
if we just asked people our age who don't feel anything terrible yet, every mm. two, three years, do a full workup. Right. Like a physical is one thing, but why not do this stuff? Because it's cheap. It's $1,500. Okay. That is cheap. We could do the, all of America could do that. And yeah. we would save trillions of dollars on the medical system for our kids and our grandkids down the line. I know. I'm like, if you can afford an iPhone, you can afford that. And people somehow make that happen. And you know what I love about th that thought is that like, we always think like, it's this really weird and twisted um, thought pattern that's evolved in like the global psyche of like loving yourself as selfish or something, or like taking care of yourself yeah. as selfish. But what you're saying is like, literally the best thing you could do for everyone else is take care of yourself because you're going to relieve the burden from everyone. So nobody yeah. has to work as hard if, if you can just prioritize yourself a little bit yeah. more and be preventative. Yeah. So I, I love that message and, and not to mention your whole life gets to be better between now and then. Right. Like you, you don't have to like slowly feel like shit to the point that now you just are like right. <laughs> in a hospital bed somewhere, you know? Yeah. So extend, yeah. Don't just extend your life, like extend your health life. Like right. this is what people don't get. They're like, oh, I don't want to live to a hundred. I like what be in a, be in a wheelchair for the last right. 25 years of my life. No, 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 no. Cause that's so, what they've seen. Right? Yeah. That's what they're thinking in their head. But the right. when people talk about longevity, like this whole Peter Diamandis space that we're mm -hmm. in, like we're deep into this world now, all these mm -hmm. longevity experts are, you know, coming to us and partnering with us. They're thinking like, no, 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 I'm going to increase your, when you're 45, like that feeling when you're 45 of like, okay, things aren't going yet. Most likely I'm still feeling pretty good. I can do most things. Maybe I'm not like crazy, like mid twenties where I can just heal right away and go whatever for days on end. But if you could extend the feeling of being 45 until you're 75 or 80, yeah. like that's what they're talking about. Health span is different than lifespan. And yeah. that's the thinking here of how can we get people to the point where they're checking in, getting healthy, getting help and managing a healthy lifestyle. And that gives you this length of life and both in your mind and your body, right? Like some of the oldest people do like still drink every day, but they have like the most amazing mental space. They have no stress. They're always at peace. Like there's just something there, right? So mm -hmm. how can we combine those two things and increase people's health span, not just lifespan? Yeah, I love that. That's, and, and, and truly also like we are in this weird shift right now as human beings where are we we're, we're advancing so quickly like our biology it can have a hard time keeping up with it i mean gosh yeah. when when i was a little 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 kid there was no internet there was no internet i mean yeah. like in my lifetime we've gone from no internet to happies and cell phones and like freaking i have clients in the, on the other side of the world and we're just talking just like normal i mean that is crazy. Yeah. So our biology, you know, like we're not used to like being able honestly to just sit here and have everything so convenient. Like I just ordered food for my kids for lunch. Like it just came to my yeah. house. Like it's just, everything has kind of gotten easier, but in a way, like now we have to be able to have ways for our bodies to be able to keep up with that. Like sunlight, like it are just, I'm not out gardening in my backyard to grow right. food. Like they right. were like, honestly, like seriously, only 60, 70 years ago. Yeah. And so what does that yeah. mean? And so how do we, how do we modernize our lifestyles? That's to me, biohacking. The only reason I'm even interested in it is in like, how do I mimic nature things that I would be experiencing in nature in my yeah. modern lifestyle and truly, you know, to happy's credit, like doing something like the focus, um, you, you would have that, like, I would just be walking outside in pure meditation and getting in those states. If yeah. I was more, you know, in an earlier phase of humankind. And so now this is like helping you just be able to get in that state. Cause the reality it's like, I feel like sometimes there's a resistance, like, well, we shouldn't need anything. We shouldn't need anything. And it's like, right. well, but are you going to get there? Like, are right. you going to do it? Like, right. just be real. Or are you just going to be in chronic stress mode or chronic, yeah. like underperforming, bailing, watching TV, going and drinking or whatever? Are you, right. Let's be real. And so yeah. let's pick the, let's pick the healthiest option that gets us what we want out of life. So yeah. Yeah. There's there, I know we're winding down too, but one of my favorite quotes that I heard in, in uh, last year, I forget who said it, but it was, um, he who had he or she, he who has his health has a thousand dreams. Mm. He who does not have his health has one mm. health, right? Wow. And that is one of the most power. I've, I've yeah, wrote that. I, I actually so wrote good. that down as like a mission statement for yeah. us. 
because I, to me, it was like, wow, that is so profoundly true. Seriously. If, you know, if, if you lose your health, if you lose your, if you are constantly stressed or fatigued or anxiety, depression, insomnia, like the mental work or the body issues going on, um, you have one dream, which is to get back to like before that hit you, right? And, but if you are in a healthy space, then the abundance mindset takes over and you have a thousand dreams. You have a thousand things before yep. you and you can live life to the fullest. Totally. And so what we really just want for people is to be in that space where they can have an abundance mindset, right? And yeah. happy just sort of is that, it's just a nice little balancing tool that people use safely all throughout their day to help them get there. And it's, it's as simple as that. Yeah, man. I, who said that quote? I have to look it up. It's, oh, you have, so someone have to Google it, but it's a fantastic quote. I heard it in Genius Network and it was like, wow, that that's straight I, to the heart of what everybody wants. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I've been down at Joe Polish's office and had him come in. I, I took Charles Poliquin's metabolic analytics course down nice. there before he passed. So yeah, a lot of wow. similar, similar people. Um, but yeah, like I, anytime you've been sick, you've probably experienced like when I get sick, sick, I'm like, Oh, people feel like this. Some people feel like this every day. There's right. no way they're like prisoners. They like, they, they're practically dead. Like there's, how could I ever, I can't, I literally can't even get to the place of caring enough to try to to do anything. Right. I don't care. I'm just in pure apathy, right. Right. you know? And that to me is like a, that's a life that is basically like robbed of someone if they yeah. don't have their health. Cause there's no way they can ever, ever have the energy to even care about what their potential might be. And right. so, yeah, like that's obviously a huge part of my, like my whole life is helping people to be able to live in that potential. Cause I've lived the opposite. I have lived unhealthy. I have lived as an adult, like the fast food, like picking after my kids, Mac and cheese, like whatever yeah. brownies, I don't know, like standard American diet. I've lived that life. And when I switched and I started putting nature in my body and I started getting more fit and exercising and like creating new neural pathways in my brain and getting nutrients, yep. well, my entire life changed <laughs> yeah. and now I'm like living my dream, right? The thousand dreams, right? Yeah. It's pure abundance. So yeah, I, I, I love that quote. I'm going to have to like Google it and see who said it. So thanks for sharing that. Yeah. And some, some people are inspired by like a, a vision of themselves in the future. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that's a, it's a very um, altruistic. Some people are like, man, I would, I want this story of my life. I want my yeah. marriage to be this way. My business to be this way. My health, my kids mm -hmm. relationship with my kids. I think that's a very powerful motivator for people to have a vision of what mm -hmm. they want in the future. So I, cause I always think about what would get someone to actually do something different. Who's listening to this podcast. Right. 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 And I think there's, there's two things I've identified that are kind of a big one. The first one is uh, this, altruistic, man, I would love, I have such a strong, powerful vision of, of my future self that I'm going to take action today mm -hmm. to make a change. I'm going to go get some help. I'm going to ask, you know, your coaching clinic to help, right? Um, mm -hmm. The other one would be um, seeing a result that tells me it's time to make a change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stats mm -hmm. don't lie. Like, mm -hmm. like when I was at the dent, my buddy's a dentist here in Scottsdale, Gabe Woodruff, one of the best dent, he's the president of the whole dental, you know, association. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm in the chair a couple of years ago and he's like, Hey, did you see that new study that just came out on like how, you know, if you don't floss that bacteria can get right into your gut and cause all these nightmare problems. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. It like scared me crapless. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, I literally went home that night and I flossed. <laughs> and I and I've been because I struggled to I mean, I use a sonicare and I floss once in a while, but the picks, the picks are game changers. You gotta yes. get the, the picks. <laughs> so then he, he even get, I even bought a huge bag from Costco. So yes. those picks, so now I use those every day, right? And that was like the change I needed. It was like, hey, if you don't right. fix what's between your teeth, it's gonna get into your gut and that causes massive problems. So the same was true with these tests I did, the blood, the, in, the stool, the urine, you're talking about the follicle and, and DNA work. Those reveal data about somebody's life, right? which is um, you cannot fight that. Yep. You, like it's a non-negotiable data, piece of data for your life. And that yep. wakes yep. people up to change. Yeah. So uh, anyway, go ahead. But those are the two things I was just gonna say, I, I love that. <laughs> I love that. And, and it, to get maybe slightly into the spiritual for a second, that happened to me. I like, if, if the results of your life, I hit like a rock bottom basically. And I had to have that wake up call of like, Hey, your current thought patterns, your, the current way that you operate has brought you here. 
look right. at it. You're not a victim. Like, you know, you're in control of your life and the way you think and the way you say yes to things or lack, lack of boundaries or whatever's going on with you, you got some freaking work to do, you know, it's like, you just have yeah. to accept it sometimes. And so, yeah, you're right. Like that, the report of data, it's like, what are the current results you're getting in your life in every area? And if they're not what you want, you have some work to do. It's not like self-hate. It's actually self-love. It's like, okay, yeah. I see my current results are not what I want. So I'm going to do everything in my power to get to a place where I am happy with those results. So yeah, I right. love that insight. Um, and people are, and, and people kind of fall into one camp or the other, right? Like as much yeah. as I want to be, as much as I want to be the altruistic, like here's the vision for my, I don't, I'm not a goal. I'm not like the goal guy. Like for huh. me. I, I just, that doesn't get me. I like write a to-do list and I won't do it because I am like, I don't know if I'm such an, like, I don't know. I have this weird huh. cowboy mentality. I'm like, I just like <laughs> to not do things because I don't like the rules. I don't know. But, yeah, when someone, yeah, yeah. but when someone is, but I am competitive. So when someone gives me data about myself, that's like, wow, that is not good. Right. Feedback, whether it's mm -hmm. someone telling me something or mm -hmm. a data on my body or sleep right. tracking or my recovery right. stats or, Hey, my metabolic rate was at 60 for the last week that is consequential. And so right. those things make me wake up and change, right? My, you know, that. my, my mom might be the opposite, right? Like she's very like vision of life, happy, go lucky. I want to change because I want this, you know, yeah. for me, it was like, I see what I need to change now. This dad needs to be fixed. So people fall into different camps. You just need to know which yeah. one you are. I, I like, I think it would be, I, I think I fall more into the, the vision. I like literally see things and it drives me because I like already saw the picture in my mind. And I like, am like the, a dog with a bone. Like I will not freaking stop until yep. that has become my new reality. So it's like, how does that person live? What does she do? Okay. Doing all those things today. So I am probably very cool. ten, tend more towards that, but I do also like, if you can't, if you can't get into the place where you're reality checking yourself, like you're saying of like the way you're doing things is not getting you the results. Like that's just kind of self-awareness. So you have to, I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm speaking to myself, I guess I can't get too caught up in like, this will be this like fairy tale fantasy, whatever, without looking at the things that aren't working <laughs> currently right. and start to address those, which is what I'm yeah. hearing from you. So it's a really cool insight. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I guess. So if people want to get the hat B, we will put a link in the show notes. I know you guys have a promotion going right now, but since it's a podcast, I won't, I don't, you can check. Well, we, we made a link for your audience. So did you? Um, okay. Hap, Happy.com H A P B E E. Cause there's a B logo hap B um, slash Tara. So T A R A. Okay. Okay. So awesome. if, if people go there, we'll keep that evergreen. So they'll get, I think it's like the top discount, whatever that is like 50, 80 awesome. bucks or something, 50 to $80 off forever, um, on the product. So we'll, awesome. we'll make so that much. an evergreen. I'll make sure Shana and the team sends that over right now. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. Scott, thank you so much for not only sharing cool info on the happy, but also some of your insights in your own personal journey. I, I really appreciate it. And I know this has been valuable for my audience. So thank you. Thank you. This is a lot of fun.